What are you doing? Drive. Don't hurt me. Take my Please car. shut up and listen to me. I'm calling the cops. It's about your daughter. Sarah? I'll tell you everything I know, but we can't be seen here. Turn up that street. Drive! Turn in here. Good, good, that's good. Who are you? Why are you following me? What's this? Page 23. You put that article on my doorstep. Duh. This is you? My glory days right there. Yeah. Rachel and I both tried out together. We both made the team. We couldn't believe it. Becoming a Hornet was the biggest deal for us. We both came from shitty homes, so for us, making this champion varsity team meant possibilities. Scholarships, college. We used to joke that we'd both end up playing pro in like Spain or someplace. What happened? When we made the team, there was a party. They invited all the new girls. All started out totally normal. Then the girls on the team told us we had to pass the initiation test. Like Asian? They tied us to our chairs. Made us drink out of a funnel. Some of the girls blacked out, puked. They taunted humiliated spit they took it too far it wasn't funny anymore we were scared for real scared I was sure I was gonna die They were the hardest on Rachel because she was the best. And that was it for Rachel after that. Sunk into depression. Drugs. Quit the team, dropped out of school. She was never the same after that. And then... Now that I'm clean, I remember it like it was yesterday. What else do you remember? All of it. Everything they did to Rachel. And me. And all the other girls. Your daughter didn't get out there on her own. Or by accident, she was taken there. By the other girls on the team? They were just following orders. Been going on long before me, too. Simmons knows about this? <laughs> Nothing happens on that team without her knowing about it. She's God to them girls. Why hasn't anyone come forward? Told the police? Even if someone did talk, who would believe a dumb teenager's word over that of a decorated veteran? You look freaked out. You're freaked out. I'm freaked out because she swore to me that she didn't know. She looked me in the eye. Who do you believe? I believe you. 
believe he was that old. You do. I do. You're the only one. That was you. You called me and didn't say anything. I wanted to tell you. I was so scared. You don't understand this team, this town, they stick together. Believe me, I found that out. You said they brought the place? Where are they? All around you. But they're afraid. We have to tell the police. We have to go public with this. We? Who's going to believe a paranoid, grief-stricken mother and a former junkie? We have to try. I don't know. We'll go in together. If these girls are responsible for what happened to my daughter, then they have to pay. Is there any proof of the abuse, the hazings? Me and a few of the girls have exchanged letters over the years. They're pretty clear about all that. You have copies of these letters? Kept them all. If you give them to me, I'll make sure the police get them. The sheriff won't do shit. Well, then I'll take it to the press. I'll make them listen. I'll make them believe. Okay, I'll pull them together. Meet me at my place, Belgravia Apartments, 9 p.m. I'm real sorry about your daughter. <laughs> 